Say you go to a location and you just feel as if somebody's watching you. Got him. Oh my god, he's a monster. Guys, look at that beautiful fish right there. That is a beautiful one. No cell phone service. I don't know if you guys can see that up there. Oh sh Oh my god guys, what is going on? Oh my god, oh my god. I'm just playing with you y'all. Welcome to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support. Be sure to smash this like button if you guys want to see some more killer content. I'm so excited to bring you guys this video because I've been waiting quite some time now to make this one. And I'm being serious. The place we're about to go to is very creepy and I'm kind of worried about it. I'm. The reason I'm worried about it is because I'm by myself. It's not that I'm scared because I'm not. It's just the place is... Low key, really sketchy. Low key, really creepy. <laughs> Low key, just not your typical area to go fishing. Pretty much this area, I've known this place. I, I kind of stumbled upon it two years ago. I like stumbled upon it. It wasn't even like mean, like I did not mean to go to this place. I didn't mean to run into this place. It just somewhat happened one day. And I got out, I fished it. We caught some big fish and I was like, wow, we only fished for a few minutes. I was like, oh my God, this is awesome. Well, about a year later, I decided to go back to this place again. And I just got some really, really, really creepy vibes from it. And really, like I started hearing things in the woods and I started, you know, I swear I was seeing things. I don't know if it was in my head and I'm not just, pulling your chain on this one. I just really started to like feel weird. And it's one of those areas where, I'm not just saying like a pond or an area, but like say you go to a location and you just feel as if somebody's watching you or you feel as if someone's there or you just feel like uncomfortable and you just don't feel like things are right. Like it just gives you just this weird feeling in your stomach. That's pretty much how this place feels. Well, to dive down into it, there's never any cars back there. Like the road, there's never cars passing by. It's just somewhat very, very weird, very, very creepy. But there are big fish in there, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. And it's a little canal, it's not like a pond, so it's gonna be very cool. But let's go ahead and rig up my rods. So I actually made a quick stop at Walmart before I actually came out here, because I was like, I need to pick up some new tackle. And there's one thing that I really need in my truck when I'm going pond fishing. Is a pair of pliers, so I picked those up as well. And then I got some regular EWG hooks, some little bully weights, and then some Sankos by Strike King. They're actually watermelon red and black flake. And that's pretty much what we're gonna be using today. I'm gonna tie that up on this 13 fishing um, fake chrome right here on a Concept A reel, 15 pound fluorocarbon. Let me show you my other two rods. So the other two rods that I actually already have rigged up is I got a, what is going on here? Anyways, the other two rods that I have is I actually have a fish head spinner bait right here. I actually made these blades red. That could be some secret juice out there. I don't know. I've caught some huge fish on this. I actually caught my personal best on that. And then I actually have a frog on this rod. I don't know if I'm going to be able to throw this, but I want to bring it out there anyway since I have a braided rod. And I was like, man, if I could catch one on a frog, I'm going to do it. But get, let's go ahead and get out there to this area. And let me show you guys around and just show you how creepy and crazy this place is. Oh yeah, there's one last thing I forgot to mention. There's zero cell phone service out here. See, no cell phone service. I don't know if you guys can see that up there. Yeah, no cell phone service. All right, so we're about to start fishing. Only if I could have shown you guys, you know, what it is like driving over here. I, it's so weird, man. It's so weird. I, it's like a blank road all the way back here. Oh, I haven't seen a car since I've been back here. I have not seen a car. We're about to do some fishing right here. Hopefully we're gonna catch some giants. There's some big fish in here. And uh, the only reason I didn't really wanna show you guys me driving back here and all like the creepy stuff, cause it's really creepy, is because I don't wanna influence any of you guys to come out here. Like this place is just, I'm telling you, something's weird about it. I'm, I'm being honest with you guys, something's not right. And I don't want you guys, like that's my phone, like send, every time I lose service, like sends an email. Like I, I don't even have service back here, but we're about to grab our rods. I'm gonna probably start off with that spinner bait and. Let's see if we can catch some fish. So I'm actually just gonna bring my Senko with me. I just think it's easier if I bring one rod and just cover a lot of water and do my thing since I'm gonna be traveling a little bit further away from my truck. And man, I'm excited. I'm really excited. Little creep. 
creek down there. Some water flowing. Oh man, there he is. Got him. Oh my God, he's a monster. Get up here, baby. <laughs> oh, there we go, baby. That is the first fish. And it is a good stubby one, I can tell you that one. Oh man, guys, that is the first fish of the day right there. Yeah, absolutely beautiful fish. We're gonna get a release on this guy. That is a thick and fat one. Gosh, is he such a thick fish. Let's go, baby. That's our first fish of the day right there. And that is a good one. That was a super fat fish. He just was taking that Sanko right there and finally just engulfed it. Let's see if we can go back in there and get another one. There's so much current right here. So you really have to get your bait in this current break. So what happened was I threw up in the current, let it drag my bait out, and then all of a sudden it hit this weird change in the water and it started pushing my bait up the left-hand side of the bank, the current was. And that's when that fish was just right there ready to eat. Let's throw back in there and see if we can catch another one. We are going to need a new Sanko for this thing. I have no idea where it went. Oh man, he just thumped me hard right there. Pitch back in there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh baby. Look at that beautiful guy right there. These fish are so healthy and thick. It's really crazy how thick and healthy these fish are. I can tell you this fish is really cold from all that water right there very cold this is kind of crazy right here man second fish of the day this is like two flips after that last this is going to be sweet i lost my seiko again i'm gonna have to put another one back on but man that's sweet oh man there he is oh he's a small one Ugh. but i'll take him let that current just take my seiko right down just pretty much threw it right up in the current let it bring it down and this fish just hammered it. You don't even have to work it. They're just, they see that bait moving and they just come after it. So I'm actually at the other half of this canal right here and Think the sun came out it is not as freaky as I remembered it right now But the water is actually super super high like it was low last time I was here. It looks a lot different It is super hot. I'm trying to hook me a fish over here I did hear some freaky noises over there in the woods. That is one thing. I don't know what in the world is that I'm literally in the middle of nowhere. Like I want you guys to know that I'm just in the middle of nowhere I it's just really really weird, but let's go ahead and keep casting around here and see if we can catch some more fish Oh my gosh, he's chasing it right there. I dropped it right when he hit it, but never got a hold of it. Oh, he's got it. Oh no, did the same thing, he followed it right in. That was a decent one too, that wasn't bad. Oh man, he's got it. Oh man, it's a monster. Oh my gosh. How am I gonna get this thing? It is a freaking toad. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that fish, baby. <laughs> Look at that, baby. Look how fat his stomach is. He had it right before I even moved that thing. Guys, look at that beautiful fish right there. That is a beautiful one. I really don't have anyone to hold the camera. This is the best way I can 
really show you guys, but definitely a solid four and a quarter. Man, that is a beautiful fish right there. Oh man, guys, I stepped in a giant ant pile. That is not good. That was freaking awesome. I, I swear, we've, we've caught some good fish so far. This is just a blast. Sadly, I think I only have one more Senko, so I'm, a, I'm a quite a bit worried. I'm hoping I can get one more on it, maybe two more right here, before I have to go back to my truck and see if I have some more. But man, that is awesome. That's a few big fish so far. and whew, It's just scary getting these fish on the bank just because it's so high. Like, you can't really get down to it. That's the only problem, but... Man, if you're catching them like that, you can't really complain. So when I released my fish, that is the ant pile I jumped in. I don't know if you can tell, there's like a, a thousand freaking ants. Oh my gosh. Let's get back out here and see what we can do. That fish had it right when it hit last time. Uh-oh. Oh man. He was just jerking on me right there. I think that was a small one. I got one more. I lied. I actually had one more. I didn't think I did. Now I'm on my last one. They're just peppering this thing. He's still hitting it. Look, I don't know if you guys can see my line jumping. They are just tearing the Senko up. I really don't think it's a bass though. I don't know. He hit me literally from that side to this side while the current was moving it. Yep, he's got it. Oh, he had it. And then I just literally did the same thing I said I was stupid for earlier. And that is my last Senko. What in the world? Holy sh! Holy sh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh You will not believe this, and I'm gonna have to do it. I'll explain to you guys what just happened here in a second. But I, I freaking dropped my camera, and I, there's two deer running across the street right here. I freaking dropped my camera, and I gotta go get that dang thing. I can tell you one thing, I am not leaving a thousand dollar camera just laying out there just because someone's out there. I don't, I don't care, I didn't clock somebody with my nuts for that camera back. Look at that crap. Dang spider webs all in my hair. Alright. Let me grab this real quick. I'm not leaving my truck. Anymore. There's some person out here somewhere. I want to say I dropped my. I want to say I dropped it when I pulled my keys out of my pocket, which is somewhere around here. <sighs> All right, people, I'm uh, I'm driving now. I'm getting I'm getting out of here to where I can actually get some service because I just feel weirded out back here. I'm gonna go stop at a gas station or something. We can I can explain what just happened. All right, holy crap, man, that was. Oh, that was stupid. All right. Well, you know, I was labeling this video as like I'm going to this haunted canal because I've been very like every time I go, I feel weird. It just is the environment where you just feel like there's something not right. That That's just the way that you feel when you go there. I was fishing and I finished off. As you know, I had my last Senko and then I did that stupid thing. I threw off my Senko. I was like, all right, I don't have any more bait. So I got to go back into my car as I'm like clipping on my hook onto my reel. I'm like standing like this and I kind of hear something, heard something like move. Like, you know when you hear something, you just kind of like look. Like, especially like, I was super paranoid in general, like in that area. <clears throat> so when I turned, I saw at the glance of my eye, a dude standing there. I literally saw a freaking dude standing oh, in the distance, which there is a few houses, not houses, they're like trailers, like in the distance, way in the woods. But I saw a dude standing there. And right when that caught my eye, like I saw him, he had like gray hair, like gray, like curly hair. And he had a white beater on, a black white beater, white, white beater, a black white beater on. And when I saw him, like it was just, it was just like a slight glance. You know, how, like when you see out of the corner of your eye, like I barely glanced at him. And when I barely glanced at him, I kind of looked and like right when I looked, it just shook me because when I saw him, he had that white beater on, he's just 
scary looking in general he had that gray hair but he didn't have white hair like it wasn't like like he didn't have white hair it's like actual gray hair like curly hair and right when i saw him i thought i saw something in his hand and it wasn't like i just saw some dude walking it, it was just the guy was just staring at me with the weirdest it just caught me with the nastiest like feeling of my life and i had to run like my first instinct was to get the out of there and get get on because i didn't know what that guy was gonna do i didn't know if he had a gun i didn't know if he was gonna shoot me i didn't know if he's gonna run at me and slice me up i didn't know what i don't even know what was in his hand there was something in his hand but i didn't get I, my brain didn't even process that far to even say oh that's a gun or oh that's a knife i just saw there was something in the dude's hand and i'm getting the out of here so that's what i did and I, I ran and i guess i dropped my camera on the way when i was pulling my keys out of my pocket to hop in my car and i like looked back a few times when i was running and i didn't see anyone but like the way he was standing like there was like this creek i, I know i showed you guys in the beginning of the video or in the middle of the video where i showed the creek there he was like standing on the other edge of it but he was like kind of further back in the woods it just freaked me out it honestly i feel like it would have been less creepy if the dude was closer to me than like him standing in the distance just seeing him look at me like that that was just the i can't can't explain it that just gave me the chills like that place already freaks me out and I was already paranoid like going into there especially knowing that I don't have service I never see any cars go back there I've never seen anyone fish back there it's just a creepy place in general it's in the middle of the woods it's in the middle of nowhere that just you you don't see people out there you just don't see people out there and that's why it just really caught me right there that's why it really just caught me in the action it was like oh my god this is reality if i was anywhere else i don't i don't feel as if i would have got spooked that bad but knowing that that dude had something in his hand i didn't know who the freak he was i saw him out there he was just creepy in general nothing against the dude but the dude was just creepy and he was staring at me he wouldn't say hey how you doing or he wasn't walking he was just staring at me the mo that guy wanted to do something that was that was really weird but man i don't know if i'm ever gonna go back to this place after this I'm not gonna lie if I do then I'm definitely gonna bring somebody with me and if I do go back to this place it's definitely gonna be quite some time from now I would assume I don't know maybe I'll end up growing some balls and going back there but we caught some fish you got some decent fish saw a creepy dude heard a few weird noises in the weirdest environment but overall guys I hope you all enjoyed me get the crap scared out of me and if you did then pepper that thumbs up button be sure to subscribe hit that little subscribe button be sure to click that bell so as soon as you post notifications other than that guys i'll catch you all at the next episode i upload every tuesday thursday and sunday tuesdays and thursdays i upload at 7 p.m eastern time sundays i've been uploading at 11 this kind of varying i update you guys along the way like when i'm posting a video but thank you guys so much for the support hope you guys enjoyed me pooping my pants for once and i'll catch you all in the next video Holy shit.